Hey everyone, Corey from CJ's Classic Truck here, and today we're gonna to show you how to install kick panel speakers that we got from Custom Auto Sound onto a Chevy C10. So if you've been staying up to date with the channel, then you'd know recently we put in a Custom Auto Sound radio into our Chevy C10. With a good quality radio in it, we really need some good quality sound to back it up. So luckily, Custom Auto Sound has these awesome Chevy C10 kick panels that we're gonna be installing into ours today. These kick panels are made out of an ABS plastic, which give it a nice finish. And the greatest part about it is you can actually paint match them to the truck. Not only do these speakers look good, but they also sound good because they're equipped with a six and a half inch Pioneer speaker. If you are interested in these, you can find them on our website at cjponyparts.com. But let's get into the install to show you how great they really are. For starters, we're gonna take off this panel here. And with the screws out of the way, we can go ahead and remove this panel. Now we're inside the truck and we're gonna go ahead and remove these two screws. I'll just push this off to the side for now. All right, now with those two screws removed, we're gonna pull back the carpet here a little bit and remove the actual kick panel. Now that our old kick panel is removed, we're good to go ahead and put in the new one here. Which just slides right onto the place over the seal. Make sure it's kicked back in the corner there. And then make sure you have your wires routed coming out the back side of the panel. So now we're just gonna route these up and out of the way. Once you got your wires routed and out of the way of everything, then we're able to connect these to the actual radio harness wires. All right, so let's go ahead and connect these two wires. Now I am using butt connectors, but if you prefer to solder, you're definitely more than welcome to do that as well. So we have our red wire coming from the speaker, which is going to be our positive. So we're gonna connect that to the positive side of the radio harness. Now that we got everything all wired up, I'm gonna go ahead and get the carpet all put back together on this side and then repeat the process on the passenger side. And then once that's all done, we'll see how everything sounds. So we got our custom auto sound kick panels installed. I went ahead and turned everything on and they sound great. Not only do they sound great, but they also look great. Now, one thing I do wanna mention, in the beginning of the video, I said that there was no modifications needed. When installing the passenger side, I did find out that you have to trim a little bit for it to sit flush, but now it's time to drop a gear and disappear. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and as always, check out cjponyparts.com for all your classic part truck needs.